faith seems weak, still believe. Psalm 27 verse 13, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hebrews 6 and verse 12, that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. You know, there are times in life when our faith may seem to have weakened, when for some reason we feel that we are not as strong in faith as we were before. When we're believing God for something in our lives, or we are trusting God to change the situation or intervene in our lives in a certain way. Maybe we started out strong and uh, something happened, maybe things got worse, and we find ourselves in a place where honestly we say, look, you know, I don't feel as strong in faith about this thing as I was maybe a month ago, maybe two months ago, maybe a year ago. We recognize we may have weakened in faith. But when you feel weak in faith, that's not the time to give up. What I want to encourage us to do is to still believe, even if what the faith you have in God at that time may seem to be weak, still believe. The psalmist said, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of God. You know, he was at the point of giving up. So I, I just want to give up. But what did I do? I just believed that I will see the goodness of God right in this part, this side of life. In the land of the living means where people are alive. So he says, I would have lost heart. I would have given up. I'd have quit. I'd have backed off. I'd have said it can't happen. But I just believed that I will see God's goodness while I'm still alive. And that's exactly what will happen. So you and I, even when our faith seems weak, just still believe. You know, this man came to the disciples of Jesus with his son who uh, was a lunatic. He had all kinds of problems and the disciples couldn't do anything to help him. Now his faith must have been really shaken because he'd come to the apostles. He'd come to the team members of Jesus and they couldn't help him. And he must have said, well, this is not going to work. I've got a, my son's going to be like this for the rest of my life. And when Jesus comes on the scene, the man admits that he doesn't have much faith. He says, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Meaning, Lord, I've really become weak in faith. I, I've, gotten a, I've got some unbelief now in me because, you know, you know, nothing's happened here. You know how Jesus responds to him? He says, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. What Jesus is saying is, you know, you may have unbelief, but you've got a little faith. You've got a little belief, believing still in you. And if with that believing, if you can still believe, all things are possible to him who believes. So when faith seems weak, even with the little faith you have, still believe. Because all things are possible to him who believes. Let's pray. Father, we ask that even when our faith seems weak, that little faith we have, we will still believe. We will not quit. And thank you for the assurance that all things are possible to him who believes. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.